I'm gonna charge this secondary battery because this is going to be a very long haul. Oh my God, y'all. I am so, so excited about filming this haul for y'all today. Um, I haven't had makeup on in a very long time. I've been kind of looking like a bomb lately. But today I had an event and I got all dolled up and I was like, you know what? I'm super excited about filming all of these home decor hauls with you guys because I have been shopping for the past like three months. Um, so this is the end of the uh, summer. You could call it end of summer, spring um, haul. I wanted to hurry up and get this one out first since we are shortly approaching fall next month. Can y'all believe it will be September in just another week? I can't believe it. This year, 2022, has been flying by. I know we say that all the time, but as a reminder, time waits on no band. And as y'all can see, I have all of the goodies, so I'm going to jump on into it. Hopefully, I have the other hauls up by the time this video is up, or at least one or two, so you guys can just keep on continuing playing these videos on my channel. If you're new here, don't forget, before you leave, I hope you love everything in this home decor haul and that you subscribe um all my oldies but goodies hey y'all welcome back anyway without further ado let's jump into it we have stuff from home goods michael's hobby lobby kirkland's um ross and marshall's let's get it let's i don't know what i want to start with first let me take a sip of the wine i think i'll go ahead and start with this bag right here first are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for the tour? Okay. I'm gonna run through these real real quick, real quick, real quick. Um, I think when I picked them up, a few of them were 50% off. Um, by the time I went back, maybe like a couple of weeks, they were like at 70% off. So some of these florals are I really think some of them were fall and they marked them down to um spring 50% off at the time when I bought them but you know I was like hey a sale is a sale so anyway I got this green one um hydrangea super pretty um this was a spring um one it was 50% off I'm a lot of these are a multitude multiple ones so I'm not pulling out all of them and I got this pretty purple one I had plans on decorating with um them now this one but you know time flew by. The green was $8.99, the purple was $7.99, and like I said, they both were. These were 50% off. I also have these. Now, I bought a whole bunch of these, a ton of these. Um, I don't know what you call it. They look like little rose buds, uh, peony buds. I believe these were only 40% off because I don't think these were spring um, or neither were they summer when I got them. Um, but what I'm trying to say as far as the sale is concerned, these were $6.99. I believe they were 40% off. Those are those. Super cute. Super pretty. I got a ton of those. I thought those would look really pretty. And then I also have a few stems in here from um, not Home Goods. What's that place? Hobby Lobby. I just put all of them in here. Now these brown ones, these are, oh yeah, and I have this one too. Okay, this one is from Michaels as well. I told y'all I bought multiple ones. I feel like I saw when I went back to the store, I feel like these are fall. Um, but maybe they were darker. I'm not sure. But these were $9.99 and these were 50% off. I bought like four or five of these. And then these are the stems that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. These are actually fall. So I picked these up maybe about a month ago. These are $9.99. Hobby Lobby had 50% off. I want to create a, y'all going to see, I picked up this item from Home Goods. I guess it's like a planter, bowl, decor. I don't know. Inspire Me uh, Home Decor. Farah has a bowl similar to this, but the bowl is like $120. Y'all are not going to believe the price that I paid for this one. I know she has two sizes. One is like a large and one is like a medium. Um, I think the medium may be like $70 or $80 and the large is like $120. But nevertheless, 
Um, this is another one, like a cream color hydrangea that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. This one was $9.99 as well, 50% off. So we done with floral, girl. Moving right along, like I said, I guess I'll go ahead and start with Kirkland's. Um, Kirkland's had a sale. I went to Kirkland's a multitude of times. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you may have seen that I put out like three Kirkland's videos. One was like a summer patio uh, sale. Another one was like a fall decor and the other one was like summer decor. I think I put like three. I'm not going to unroll this uh, rug, but I'll show it to you on screen. Um, this rug at the time, I believe was 40% off. Um, now let me get to line. I think it was 40%. I don't have a receipts to a lot of this stuff because like I said, I've been shopping for the past three months. Um, <laughs> and so some of the receipts are in the bags and some of them not. But anyway, it was $24.99. Really cute rug. I had an idea. I saw this little setup um, with a rug on top of a console inside of Kirkland's. But then I was like, mm, maybe I'll make this uh when I finally decide to do something with my patio space outside or maybe inside, I don't know. Um, but I thought it was cute. I love black and white, so I picked it up from Kirkland's. All right, pillows, pillows, pillows. When I first went, um, the pillows were 30% off. And no, yeah, they were 30% off. And then, of course, if you sign up for their email, they had an additional 20% off. So I thought it was a steal. These pillows, y'all, are so luxurious. I mean, the quality on them, A1, okay? A1. I'm not lying to y'all. I'm not lying to y'all. Look at these. Look, 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 look. It's like a thick, almost wool material. It's probably like polyester. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, this uh, pillow was $34.99. This is like a... I would say probably, I think this is 20 by 20 or 22 by 22. Y'all be the judge. Um, I liked it because not only of the material and you can undo it. I like pillowcases. Now that you, if the pillow, if the throw pillow, you can't take the cover off, I'm not buying it. Because I want to be versatile. I want to be able to take my pillow cover off not only wash it and clean it but i want to be able to use the pillow okay for another cover um so anyway i like it you can do your karate chop i'm thinking about putting these on my new couch whenever they come hopefully before the end of the year or it may go on my bed in the winter time since it has that thick material oh and then they also had like a pillow sale i got three of these y'all i got three of these they had a pillow sale um one day and i actually went back and got three more pillows so i purchased those two like in june and then i recently purchased these two another cream one and this one because they had a pillow sale where all of their pillows were 15 dollars yes $15 so y'all know I love me some leopards um cheetah print animal print all of it I really like uh leopard and cheetah this one was again regularly $34.99 but I got this one on sale at the $15 pillow um sale and then also you can karate chop this one as well what do you call these lumbar pillows um, then I got to show y'all the other two pillows I picked up. I also got some fall decor items from, um, Kirkland's, but that's going to be in the secondary haul, not this haul. Um, and they were all on sale. Y'all, I got these. Um, you know, now that I think about it, those cream ones are probably 22 by 22. And these are, are 20 by 20 because these are a little bit smaller. Look at these, y'all. Look at these. It's that kind of brown taupe color. Y'all, they feel so, so good. And best thing again, the covers come off and you can do the perfect karate chop. Y'all, ain't gonna lie, my leg is falling asleep on this floor. So, 
We got some Kirkland's. I'm gonna have to take a little break right quick. Be right back. It's a little bit later. Um, I just refilled my wine. I had to wait till my charger um, charged up because it was going dead. But we're gonna get through this haul because I can't lie, I'm a little tired. Next up is Hobby Lobby. Um, I did catch their clearance end of spring summer um i thought this would be cute for the um kitchen my wall shelves i'm kind of going with eventually i want to paint my kitchen cabinets um black i think and white or if not black maybe like a real dark charcoal and over by my shelves i thought this would be a cute sign um, to put up with my coffee i want that little area to be my little coffee bar so hopefully i can find some um longer shelves later on but anyway guys this was only three dollars and 74 cents so i thought that was a pretty good steal because it is regularly 14.99 and then y'all know hobby lobby usually has the 50 percent off um so even uh being half of seven dollars pretty good steal pretty good steal so i think that's it for hobby lobby next up is going to be i did stop in oh wait that's not it for Hobby Lobby. I got two more items for Hobby Lobby. Um, this was on regular sale for the coffee bar um, area. This little coffee sign. I picked that up. Super cute. I thought I would use that over there on my coffee bar. It was $5.99 regularly. And I believe all their table decor was 50% off. So, um, what, got that half off. And then I also picked up these marble kind of garland things i know y'all been seeing these all over instagram so um they're cool to style over your ginger jars or um a console or just you know on some books i thought these were super cool because they were clear um regularly 17.99 and i believe all the table decor of course was half off so that's it for um, Hobby Lobby. I did stop into Nordstrom. I only have one item from Nordstrom. I actually was going to take it back at first, but then I was like, you might as well keep it. Um, and I could possibly style it over my coffee bar um, area on those shelves as well um, with a little faux plant or real plant. I thought it was super cute. I love black and gold. This was on sale as well, I think. Um, regularly $11.97, but I can't remember if I paid half off or if it was like 40% off or 30% off, but I don't have the receipt. I'm sorry, but I did catch this on sale, like one of their, um, in their home decor, um, area in Nordstrom's Rack, um, you know, over there kind of by the cosmetics sometimes or by the pillows. So it was either 30 or 40% off. But regardless, $11.97, $12 is not bad uh, for this little planter. Okay, guys, I have a couple of things from Marshalls and Ross. And I think I'm going to save the best for last, which I think, although all of these uh, items, I think, are pretty good doggone steals. Um... I'm gonna say home, save home goods for last. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I picked up from um, Marshalls. I picked up this gorgeous, gorgeous white and gold um, decorative bowl. It's kind of like in a flower shape. Super cute. $14.99 from um, Marshalls. And then I got these coasters. I love little cute girly. Uh, feminine touches they have hearts on them they're marble and wood super cute it's a set of four and these were $6.99 those are the only two items I believe I have from Marshall's now I have a few items from um Ross that I want to show you guys what I picked up uh -oh. now I've been Ross has really been having some nice stuff lately um these two I did pick up a while Back, I will say that because I do have the receipt um, for this one. I've been <laughs> meaning to haul this stuff for y'all, but I've been looking for one of these. And you know when you're always looking for something, you can never find it? Well, I really wasn't looking for it this time. And guess what? I found it. So it's, uh, um, it's like one of those, I don't know, mortar and pistol 
um, basically, you know, you can use it for like spices, guacamole. I'm opening it up to show you all. And you know what? As soon as I found this one, I swear I was going in the store and <laughs> I was seeing them like everywhere. I like this one because it was kind of not really white, white, but it was giving me um, grayish uh, kind of tone. So I thought that was super uh, cool. And it's a little bit on the smaller side. I could put it um, on a little another marble board and style it. This one was only $7.99. These things can kind of get pricey um, because I did see a few of them like ridiculously priced 25 30 dollars i don't mean not the big ones like the small ones but anyway this one was only 7.99 also i picked up i like to call it a dupe for um not crate bear but cb2 has a bowl like this now theirs is a little bit larger i will say that but i thought this was an awesome find at ross you guys, this was only $15.99. Now, how cute would this be on an entryway or on uh, the coffee table? Like with some books or something. I could have some little balls or something in there. And then, I mean, if I wanted to, I could style it like that. You know, something like that. Whatever. A little razzle-dazzle, but... $15.99. I thought that was a pretty good steal. Pretty good find. Got a couple of more items from... Oh, y'all. I almost forgot. I got one more item from Marshalls. Um, I was mixing it up with the home good stuff. So I'm going to show y'all that too. But let me finish up with Ross. I picked up this one recently um, from Ross. This little... What do you call these? Jacks, right? Like Jacks. I don't know. I never played that game. <laughs> this was only $8.99. I think this would be super cute on a coffee table or um, in my new bookcase that I got from Ikea. And then I picked up these flameless LED. Um, it's a flameless LED candle set. But the thing I like about these is that they already come in their little um, glass. So... Hey, I haven't opened them yet, so hopefully everything works on them because it's clearly past the return time. But they were only $14.99. Got like a small, medium, and large. And I think these will be cute for the holidays um, to kind of set up in my cabinet or maybe even on a table. I'm even thinking about maybe getting some more and have like two, like one side, one side. I don't know. Hopefully these work. I don't think they have a remote control, but they do have built-in six-hour timer, so um, that would definitely work. I, I really like these. I have uh, some other sets, but I really like these because they were more whitish. Um, the ones that I have are kind of uh, more a yellow tone, and I really don't care for the color too much, but I do like the flameless candles, so pick those up. Okay, the other item I wanted to show y'all that I picked up from Marshalls was this little buddy. Now, it did come a little defective, and I was thinking about, hmm, did I want it, did I want it? So I went to the register, and of course, you can always ask if you go in Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or HomeGoods. They typically give anywhere from 10 to 15% off um, any uh, type of defect um, like a chip a stain or something like that and if you change your mind later on and want to bring it back you can still bring it back I almost changed my mind about this one but I was like I could pair it with a different I mean with the maybe a larger size and then um uh, base so this one was regularly or $24.99 and they gave me a few extra dollars off so it was $22 and they gave me a few extra dollars off because of the chip that I showed but I mean I could turn it around and you know nobody has to really see that or you know I can get a pen um, a sharpie marker kind of fill that in or something but regardless I can turn it around and nobody see that I thought that would be pretty cute maybe put some little photos tails in it I don't know how I'm going to style this yet, but I thought it was a pretty good um, price for what it's worth. Okay, y'all, we are in the home stretch. Finally, finally, finally. 
I, Home Goods has been hitting. I, I cannot lie. Home Goods has been hitting. So I have some Home Goods stuff over here and I have a couple of Home Goods items over here. Um, and I'm looking at another Ross item. I am just missing things. With all this decor in front of me, I am missing things. Okay, let me back it up just one second. I want to show y'all my last item that I picked up from Ross right in the, what do you call it, like the checkout area? I forget what they call uh, the area, like the sales term, but I, y'all know I love black and gold. I rat rave about it all the time. Of course, my couch is black, but nevertheless, I saw this coffee drinkers um, in the line checking out. They got me. What can I say? Super cute, right? Super, super cute. So I was like, got to go in my cart. It's got to go in the cart. Um, this was $5.99, a 12 ounce travel mug. I only have one other black and gold uh, mug that I picked up from at home store like years ago, which is super, super cute. Um, but I really love this Stress Bless and Coffee Upsets. I can't wait to drink. I, I've been holding on to this mug just to do this haul <laughs> and now i can finally wash this out and use it um it's been sitting on the game room floor with the rest of this home decor and all the rest of the home decor that i can't wait to finish showing y'all with all of these videos coming up soon so now we can move on to home goods i got some bags over here i got some items over here but let me see where i'm gonna start it i've been at, to several different home goods so um, I think this is going to smell pretty good, but it's a huge um, reed diffuser bottle. Let me show you. It's by this brand, Toledo 72. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. I'm really not sure of them either, but I thought it was a good deal for the uh, amount. The size is a 16.9, 500 milliliter um it's pretty good pretty big so i'm like i can put this in my living room or somewhere maybe even the restroom this one was 24.99 the uh scent is sandalwood they had a bunch of scents maybe like five or six different scents but i was like sandalwood is usually like that musky fresh vanilla that's how i would describe sandalwood a musky fresh vanilla so i'm not really with the vanilla smell but i do like um sandalwood i like that fresh more of a fresh smell so regardless i thought that would um be i really like the label in the front i don't know i think the bottle kind of turned around here um uh, maybe i can show y'all here hold on one second i mean it's not like i, I i'm gonna take it back so can y'all see the label? I really love the label. It's more like a masculine kind of label, but I was super cute. It's kind of like champagne gold, silverish. I like it. Next up is this cute magnifier. Super cute. Um, I've been seeing on Instagram a lot of cute little magnifiers and you know they just sit on books on people's coffee tables it look real cute and i was like when i saw this for only 5.99 i was like oh yeah put it in the cart put it in the cart i'm gonna get this so super cute picked it up from home goods 5.99 so everybody is into the basket weave kind of look and i don't know i would say probably about 10 years ago this was a thing the basket weave now you know time repeats itself it's back um but i thought this would be super cute with what i am going to show y'all that i picked up at the same home goods Ooh, excuse me okay that <laughs> i picked this basket up um with this other item that i'm gonna show y'all at the same home goods and i was like this would be cute on my island i i be picturing stuff in my head how it would look when i'm at the store and then i'll set it up you know semi set it up or whatever because it's already kind of halfway set up in my mind i'll be like put it in the cart once i figure out i really like it but this is really uh made really really well nevertheless um 16.99 i like um the basket weave like the dark basket weave so i really really like this one and then i feel like even if it like kind of goes out of style by 
next year or not the big hype again i could probably use this or this can always be used like on a patio set outside with your little refreshments and drinks on it or whatever to serve um y'all this one was $16.99 i'm gonna hold on to this because i'm gonna show y'all what i picked up next the same time at the home goods i've always kind of wanted one of these but um I don't know, I was kind of skeptical, but y'all, I ain't gonna lie, Instagram, this is the wrong thing. Instagram influences and YouTube influences me to go shopping. That's why I have to stay out. <laughs> I really have to like posting ghosts because y'all be getting me to shop. Y'all be getting me to shop. How cute is this French press? Y'all, they had the larger size and they had the smaller size. I initially had the larger size. And I think the larger size was $19.99. Um, this is the smaller size. This one, y'all, is $14.99. This is made by um, Bread and Butter. It's a 600 milliliter coffee press. I want to try this. Um, you know, I guess I was skeptical on how the coffee would taste, but... How cute would this be, this little setup with my coffee, with, you know, some croissants or some donuts or whatever. <laughs> and, you know, my little napkin, whatever, you know, serve me, baby. Ah, uh, breakfast in bed or whatever have you. So, I thought this would be super cute sitting on my island. You know, a good photo op pic or whatever, real video, whatever have you. So, I picked that up. I actually picked this up a while ago. Um, this probably was one of the older pieces that I completely forgot about. And I was like, what is this in this bag? And when I opened it up, I was like, oh, I remember you. How cute, y'all. How freaking cute yeah i love it um so it opens up i guess you could hide something in there if you wanted to it's not that large um maybe a note <laughs> something you didn't want somebody to see but i did think this was a little bit on the pricier side um when i saw it i was like yes i gotta have it but then i was just like i really kind of don't want to pay that much for it but i went ahead and got it anyway this one was 24.99 y'all I think it would look cute style. You know, black is the thing. Um, now, I've always liked black, but I, I seem to see that there are more um, black home decor out in the store and more people decorating um, with black. So, black is timeless. I mean, what can you say? But it's on trend right now. And I've got so many new pieces that are black that I'm excited to decorate with. Um, so... Stay tuned for some Decorate With Me videos for the fall, of course, and for any other, you know, decorating videos in the future. Right along, like I said, we were. I have another vase. Y'all, I saw this vase a while ago and passed on it. I actually saw this vase today when I was in Home Goods. It was in gold, and I almost picked it up, and I was like, girl, you already got that vase in black. You do not need it in gold. Um, super cute by the brand Tahari Home. This one was $24.99. This one can go, you know, by itself style or probably won't look bad. It'll probably look good actually with this one. Maybe like with it on a riser or something. No, uh, what y'all think? Together, side, no, I like this. Something like this, huh? Yeah. But nevertheless, super cute. $24.99 from Home Goods. And these come out at Home Goods maybe at least, I would say at least two or three times a year because I've seen them pop up several times. So if you're looking for that one, that shouldn't be a hard find. I think I'm going to save that one last thing for last. Remember when I told y'all um, with those florals, I want to create um, what Inspire Me Home uh, decor has. Um, the bowl that she sells or the planter. I don't know if it's, if she describes it as a bowl, but I'm gonna show y'all, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that one for last to show y'all. I've had four more things to show you guys. So I picked up this picture frame, but I have an idea for this. 
I'm gonna insert a clip here of an item that I have been wanting to get, but it is on the pricier side. So I feel like I'm gonna make me a dupe. This picture frame was on clearance for $10. It's a Ray Dunn picture frame. Nothing spectacular about it. It says bless. Um, I think I'm not doing a little DIY with this um, to make it into a display um, podium, stand, whatever. And like I said, it the original ones are sold by I can't remember the company's name, but I put it like on the on the screen again. But um, nevertheless, y'all, those things are like eighty to a hundred dollars, and they come in like three different sizes. And I feel like the seventy eighty dollar one is the smaller one. When I saw this, that's the first thing that spoke to mind was the original ones, and I was like, huh, if I can make this. A ten dollars DIY. That's exactly what I'ma do. So that's what I plan on doing. Check it out on IG. <laughs> Once I do the DIY on it, so you can see. You might be able to copy one too. Do you a little DIY? I've been looking for this item for a while, and you know when you're looking for something at home goods, you can't seem to find it. But when you're not looking for it, it just miraculously appears. It's heavy too. It's heavy. Y'all. This little decor. Oh, orb, ball, crystal ball. I've been looking for this for some time. Some people will use it as a paperweight. Whatever. I just think it's so cute. Like, when the light hits it and everything, I think it's so cute. On the coffee table display whatever have you I know a lot of home decor people have this or have several I've been looking for it couldn't find it so happy that I finally found it it was pretty pricey it was I mean for I guess a glass bowl not too pricey but it was $20 $19.99 y'all this could really be used as a weapon you know it really could be used as a weapon. Like if you really threw this at somebody, or if you hit somebody, you would definitely knock them out. All right, y'all. Two more items, and this haul will be over. If you're liking the haul thus far, I hope y'all gave it a big thumbs up. If you haven't, give it a big thumbs up right now. And let your girl know if you like it. So I was checking out y'all and I saw this beauty. I don't know if this is the best for last or if the last thing that I'm going to show y'all is the best for last. But this one is pretty doggone good. So we'll just say the, that I saved the last two for the best for last. Y'all look at this. This is made by, I think this is made by my girl. Or that could be a guy, I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was made by Tahari, but I don't know. Maybe it fell out. So this is more like of a metal ginger jar. It's kind of like a small, medium. It's not very large, but definitely metal. Y'all, I recently sold my big, giant gold ginger jar. I know. The one that y'all used to see in the background. <sighs> kind of went back and forth with it. Was I going to sell it or not? But I went ahead and let it go because it's time for out with the old and in with the new. But I saw this one and I thought it was so cute. The lady was like, I think it's defective. And I was looking at it at the register and I was like, I don't see anything wrong with it. Looks fine to me. But y'all, the price was originally $29.99 and it got marked down to $25. So I ain't going to lie. $29.99, I probably would have said, never mind. But the fact that when she said it was $25, I was like, yeah, I'll take it. So, <laughs> I got it. Super cute. Of course, you can style this with whatever, how you want to. Um, flowers, uh, faux flowers. I don't know if you can put water in this, really, actually. But faux flowers are maybe like faux tails. I'm definitely going to style it and use it for fall. So, stay tuned for um that i don't know if i'm going to be filming a fall decorate for my channel um a decorate with me video for my channel but i definitely will have a whole bunch of fall reels out so once again follow your girl on ig if you haven't already y'all so like i said 
I don't know if that was the best for last, but we'll just call in this that I saved the two best for last. So I'm gonna insert the clip here again of Inspire Me Home Decor's bow, um, Farrah. I found this beauty. Yep, I found this beauty, y'all. Y'all, India be making some stuff. India be making some stuff. They had this over in the pots kind of area, like the planter pots or whatever. I saw this and I was like, huh? Yes. Um, it was a little bit on the higher side, but it is it's pretty large. It's twenty it was $29.99. I picked it up. I was like, I gotta have it. Um, I'm kind of into more of the larger decor pieces so I don't have to have a whole bunch of knickknacks. Um, so I thought this would be super cute to create my own kind of DIY inspire me home decor bowl with those florals that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and Michaels. And I'm gonna do that for this year's fall. So I'm so happy that I finally got through this haul. I'm looking around to make sure that I did not leave anything out of this haul. I do believe that I got everything in this haul um, to show you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the haul. It was overdue and I'm super excited to share everything with you. Don't forget before you leave to subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram. Leave me a comment below and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys. I'll see y'all in the next one and stay tuned for the, uh, the other videos that are coming out because I got two maybe even three fall decor videos. I'm going through the stuff tonight um, to figure it out. Figure it all out. But anyway see y'all later. Love you.